6 a.m. How did we get to the point where part of me doing this YouTube channel was me filming push-ups? Oh <laughs> The sun is beginning to rise behind me. Seven hour work day. That is 30 push-ups in total. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be trying out Dan Brown's writing routine. We're back again with another author writing routine attempt. So far we have done the routines of Hiroki Murakami, Neil Gaiman, Octavia E. Butler, Donna Tartt. And today we are back again with another writing routine. It's been a little bit since I made the last one which was Hayao Miyazaki. And we're going to be trying out the writing routine of Dan Brown. So before we jump into the video, who is Dan Brown and what is his writing routine? Dan Brown is an incredibly well-known thriller writer who was born in the US in 1964. He is the son of a mathematics teacher and a church organist and early on developed a fascination with the paradoxical interplay between science and religion. He is the author of many, many New York Times bestsellers including The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, the rest of the Robert Langdon books and his novels have been translated into 56 different languages and have sold over 200 million copies in print. The Da Vinci Code is obviously his most famous novel and it was made yet more famous with the Tom Hanks film that came out in the early 2000s. Now I remember watching the follow-up film Angels and Demons when I was a child. As soon as it stopped playing I actually got up and restarted the film because I wanted to see how the foreshadowing worked, how the mystery worked. I thought that it was so cool. <laughs> so now that we know who Dan Brown is, I mean I assume that most of us knew who Dan Brown was, what is his writing routine? He rises at 4 a.m. every day and prepares a smoothie comprising blueberries, spinach, banana, coconut water, chia seeds, hemp seeds, flax seeds, and this sort of weird protein powder made out of peas. He also makes his so-called bulletproof coffee uh, with butter and coconut oil, which he says changes the way your brain processes the caffeine so as to sharpen the mind. So he gets up at 4am, he starts work presumably at some point after that. On the hour, his computer is set to freeze, he has a program that does that, and he gets up and he does push-ups, sit-ups, and anything else he needs to do. He stops writing at noon, he says it's hard for him to get stories out of his head, it's madness, he said of his characters, they talk to you all day. So in order to recreate Dan Brown's writing routine, I'm going to get up at 4 a.m. I'm going to make this smoothie. I'll go to the shops and go buy some coconut water and blueberries and, and fun fancy things for that smoothie. I'll start work. Then every hour on the hour, I will stop work and do push-ups. Here's the thing. I'm not spectacular at push-ups, but I'm going to do my best for the sake of this routine. And then I will stop working at noon. This sounds like a really, really full-on work day. Without further ado, let's give it a go. Let's try out Dan Brown's writing routine and I'll see how well it works for me. Right now it is 4.06 a.m. I'm awake. Hello, good morning. Here we are again. My question to you is, why aren't there more authors like Brandon Sanderson who wake up at like 11 or 10? Why is it always like 4 a.m. or 2 a.m. or some like ridiculously early time? It's fine. First of all, I'm going to be making the Dan Brown smoothie, not I mean, so tired. <laughs> the smoothie that Dan Brown has, which is this like delightful concoction of coconut water and blueberries. Where are the blueberries? Spinach and chia seeds. Hello, I don't know how much I'm supposed to be doing of these quantities, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. There were a few things I omitted from this. I don't like hemp seeds, for example, so I didn't bother with those. And also I wasn't willing to invest in protein powder just for the sake of this video. I'm sorry. Apparently it's like $50,000 a bottle of protein. I did, I did not realize. I did not realize how much people are spending on protein powder. It also occurs to me that I've never before had coconut water. So I think I should try it before I put it in my very, very healthy looking smoothie. <laughs> Oh, that's a consistency I wasn't expecting. Why is it so thick? The taste was fine, so we can put it in. <laughs> so we have our blueberry spinach and coconut water smoothie. Let's give this a go. That is definitely the best smoothie I've ever made. Oh my God, coconut water. I am so sorry about the things that I felt about you. 
The articles I read also mentioned that Dan Brown has this like bulletproof coffee which somehow involves butter and coconut milk and I am sorry but I wasn't willing to try that one because we have margarine. Apparently like this method that he uses like helps fortify the caffeine or something and I think if I had something like that at this time of the morning with no actual food in my stomach I think I might actually self combust. We're gonna stick with the smoothie for now. I'm gonna quickly get ready for the day and then we can start our first bit of writing. It is now 4.46 a.m. and I'm gonna get started on writing stuff for today. For those of you who are new here, hello, my name is Christy. I am currently working on an adult fantasy novel going by the name of Project Teacup. And right now I'm on draft six of the novel. It's the first draft I'm doing with the literary agent that I got at the end of last year. There are some kind of twisty edits going on around the middle of the story, so it's a little bit of a complex edit. Where is my thing? We are up to the stage of complex spreadsheets and color coding and all of that kind of stuff. I'm obviously gonna blur this, but these are my various notes that I'm currently using to help me do draft six of the story. I wrote these up in January and they've been very, very helpful. I'm gonna set my timer for an hour. This is just a visual timer. Dan Brown has a program on his computer that actually freezes his computer for 60 seconds. I obviously don't have that, but what I do have is a visual timer that I can have sitting on my desk. So this is gonna go off in an hour. And when that goes off, I'm gonna be doing some push-ups, which <laughs> will be fun. It is now time for me to be doing some push-ups and sit-ups. I can do a very small number of push-ups. Sit-ups are absolutely fine. There's no set time really for how long Dan Brown does this. I mean, the articles say that his computer freezes for 60 seconds, so I assume that's maybe 60 seconds of push-ups. But I just kind of have this image of him like, you know, his computer freezing and him diving away from the computer and quickly doing his push-ups and then diving back. I'm just gonna try and aim for five push-ups and then a few sit-ups and we'll see how we go. Oh no! <laughs> no! You know when you haven't slept enough and you're less strong because of it? Let's blame that. <laughs> been a curious amount of exercise I've had to do for these writing routines. The Haruki Murakami, I had to run every single day, five miles or whatever it was. For Octavia E. Butler, we went on walks every day. I appreciate this, although I'm very upset with myself because normally I can do five push-ups, so at least that gives me something to aim for in an hour. I'm gonna go get some toast, and I'm gonna go back to my desk, and in an hour, I'm gonna do five push-ups. That is my plan. The sun is beginning to rise behind me. Let's get back to writing. I'm going to be doing the second sprint of this video. They're not really sprints because they're like full hour-long work blocks, but I'm excited to dive into the second hour of this. Let's keep editing chapter 10. <laughs> somehow already again time for me to do push-ups. That hour went really quickly. I concentrated very well. I got to the end of chapter 10. I was midway through it when we started this morning and I managed to edit that chapter. That chapter's about 3,200 words, I believe. I'd have to go check. I, I, so I think I edited and rewrote around 1,500 words, but it's kind of intangible because there's a lot of like going, I wrote a certain amount of words. I edited half a chapter. It is bang on 7 a.m. right now. The sky looks really pretty outside. It's a very pretty sunrise sky right now. I am gonna do some more push-ups. Okay, I'm gonna aim for three this time. Maybe I started off a bit too ambitious. I have been doing pull-ups recently. I've been trying to teach myself how to do a pull-up and when I say been doing pull-ups, I mean I climb up to the bar and hold on for a little bit and then I kind of fall off of it. That's, that's where I am in my journey to learn how to do pull-ups. If you start with smaller goals, you're less likely to be disappointed. We'll start with three push-ups, and then if I do any more than that, that is a bonus. <laughs>
Time for sit-ups. How do we get to the point where part of me doing this YouTube channel was me filming push-ups? It is now 8 a.m. and we are ready for another round of push-ups. <laughs> I think it's really nice to have an hourly marker. It kind of feels like this is a reward, but it's not a very good reward for doing an hour's worth of work. I've been working really solidly, I'm working away at chapter 11. I've just completed my third hour of writing work for the day and it's going well. This is also a really good part of the story that I'm working on to be filming a writing routine video because I'm quite on a roll with the story. It's always really tough if I'm trying out a routine and I'm in a really tricky part of the story that's like very stop start but right now I'm on a roll with it I'm in the thick of editing this story as I said chapter 11 it's going well and we're gonna be doing more push-ups so if I only do six rounds of push-ups and I do about five each that's 30 push-ups right and so that over the course of a day I think is pretty good I couldn't tell you a day in my life where I've done 30 push-ups total I will sometimes do a similar thing to this because I was reading about habit stacking a while ago and so now I've gotten into this habit where every now and then while I'm waiting for my tea to brew because it takes like two to three minutes for tea to brew and I'm trying to keep myself off of my phone in little moments like that I've started doing like incline push-ups so basically I'll like lean against the counter and do push-ups like at an angle because that is a lot easier if you don't have a lot of upper body strength and it still works your upper back muscles at this point I'm just procrastinating because I don't want to do this but we're gonna do it okay It is now 9 a.m. and we're back to push-ups again. My arms are starting to get sore at this point. And also I'm gonna swap out the sit-ups for uh, maybe plank. I'm getting really tired of doing push-ups. I've done five hours of work so far, still plodding away at chapter 11. It's going a little bit slowly and I can definitely feel myself starting to wane. Also, I'm probably gonna grab lunch in a second. Like it doesn't really specify when in the day Dan Brown has lunch, but it's, I'm starving. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my five more push-ups, then I'm gonna grab some lunch. Oh, okay. <laughs> It is now 10 a.m. and I'm definitely starting to feel my fatigue. I think this is a really solid work day to be starting so early in the day. I think what probably isn't accounted for here is that I'm assuming maybe at like 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. that he has a little bit of a break, that he eats some food. I had to just go have some noodles because I was hungry. And so for me as a, as a creative person, as a worker, I'm struggling now at this point because normally in the middle of the day I'll like have a bit of a break and I'll, I'll step away from my computer. So this routine doesn't really seem to factor in proper breaks, like taking a few minutes out to have physical exertion, I think is great. I, I, I love the repetition of that. I think stepping away from your computer every hour to do something physical and help kind of reset your brain, I think is wonderful. I love that for concentration. My arms are very tired, but I feel strong, which is nice. But I think for me, doing a seven hour work day, I definitely need to take a break in the middle. It is 10 a.m., I've got one more hour of work, I'll do one more set of push-ups, and then a final hour of work. <laughs> push-ups in total. My poor arms, they're tremoring. I'm gonna be so muscular now. 
it is now noon, it's 12 p.m. and I have worked an entire seven hour work day. I have done a lot of push-ups today. I did 30 push-ups. I can already feel it in my arms. But more importantly, like focusing on the writing aspect of this writing routine that is why we're here, I managed to edit half of chapter 10, the whole of chapter 11, and a tiny bit of chapter 12. You know, law of diminishing returns, I sort of felt that by the fifth hour, maybe it was time to move on to something else. That being said, I did manage to get a lot of writing work done today. I did a lot of physical activity today, which I liked. But overall, I think it was reasonably successful. I'm now going to have a bit of a break and just like zone out for a while because I'm tired and I did a lot of work today. But I'm going to come back to you with my final thoughts on Dan Brown's writing routine. In conclusion, how did I find Dan Brown's writing routine? Well, I got a lot of work done, which is obviously going to happen if you're working for seven hours in total. Although I did take a bit of a break there to eat some noodles quickly at 9am because I was very, very hungry. I really, really like the method of working for a set period of time, getting up and doing something physical and then going back to work. I think the repetition of that is really, really good for my brain. It helps with concentration. This is something that I've been doing since high school, like the Pomodoro technique where you work for 20 minutes, you do five minutes of something fun and then doing that over and over. And that is still the best hack that I have for my brain on a day when I'm not concentrating very well. However, in the context of Dan Brown's writing routine, for me, these repetitions were too large. So having an entire hour of work and then only a couple of minutes of rest and then doing that again and then doing that again for seven straight hours was just too much concentration for my brain without any breaks. Again, he might have had a break in the middle of there and then just not really communicated that. But for me, writing work is deep work. It takes a lot of concentration, it takes a lot of energy. And when I'm really, really buckled down into a story, normally it's when I'm at like the 80% mark of a draft until the end, I can work for 12 hours a day on it. I can concentrate really, really well. But for me, my concentration comes in bursts. I can only do that for short periods of time. And it's only at like very specific stages of a story. Um, but normally Normally when I'm drafting, I would work best for like four or five hours max. Doing seven straight hours after getting up early is not something that's going to work for me. And obviously I am not a full-time writer by any capacity, so it's not something that I could do sustainably. The next point I wanted to make, my arms are sore, my back and my neck are sore. I may have done too many push-ups in a single day. Who's to say? <laughs> But I really liked having that push-up go. I think maybe for me, it'd be better if I did like three push-ups every hour or something like that. Maybe if I didn't push myself as much as I did, it would be better for me because I don't have a lot of upper body strength just naturally. And then finally, on the point of getting up at 4 a.m., my conclusion here is not gonna come as a surprise to anyone who's watched these early morning writing routine videos before. I am a night owl, but I will retain that I'm pretty sure I've trained my circadian rhythm to bounce back really quickly because it's the next day and I feel fine. Like I feel rested enough. I went and slept my normal amount. I would far, far prefer staying up until 4 a.m. and writing until 4 a.m. rather than getting up really, really early because that's just how my brain works and that is what's best for me. However, I will retain that it's a really lovely thing to be able to get up and write as the sun's rising, to be able to do that with no distractions around. I do really appreciate that part, but still getting up at 4 a.m. is not for me, will never be for me, but I'll keep doing it for you guys for the sake of these videos because I know you enjoy them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me trying out Dan Brown's writing routine and also I wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting my channel. Without Patreon, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. Over there, we have a whole bunch of bonus content, bonus videos, our book club, our Discord server, so many things over on Patreon. So if you want bonus content from me, bonus videos, or if you just want to support my work, there is a link to Patreon in the description down below. Take care, everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.